These are for the thumbnail. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is JC and today we'll be testing out some viral TikTok style hacks. So if you know me, you know I have no sense of personal style. I wear clothes and the color green and I call it a day. So whenever I can find like cool little hacks or easy ways to elevate my fashion game, I'm all for it. So often I find myself scrolling through the depths of the abyss of the platform known as TikTok, I find myself stuck for many, many hours watching little one minute long videos. But amongst those one minute long videos are a few tips on how to use the clothes that you have and change them up in a way to make them cool, stylish, and new and fresh. So that's what we'll be doing today. So if you like videos like this of me just testing out little hacks here and there, living in LA or just being a little goofball, then make sure to like and subscribe. But let's get into the first style hack. All right, I have my phone, so we're gonna watch these TikToks and repeat them. So the first one has 4.3 million views. So it looks like she takes a scarf and almost makes like a short sleeve cardigan out of it. So let's try it. I think I have a scarf like that. All right, so I have a scarf here um, and it looks kind of similar. So she kind of put it behind herself and then brought the corners up and tucked them behind her head. Mine's not wide enough. Mm, that's not gonna work. Let me just hold it here and let's see if we can figure this out. So then she turns the the ends, flips them over. You know what? Um, this isn't the right kind of scarf. Let me watch the video again. So the one that she's using is more of a square shape. Mine is rectangular. Um, so I don't think I have anything that'll actually work because this rectangular shape is not working. So this one was a fail. I do not have it in my closet. Dang it, I was excited about that one. It looked kind of cool. So let's look up another one. So this one says winter scarf tips. That was a winter scarf. This one has to work. Okay, so she is using a winter scarf to kind of look like a little poncho thing. I don't have a jewel to make it look like a zipper. We're not gonna be that extra. Uh, where are people getting these giant scarves? These aren't scarves, these are blankets. So let's try it with the scarf I have. All right, so she like folded it a couple of times. Let's fold it in half. Then she put it in front of her neck and around. She invented a scarf, you guys, we did it. No, just kidding. Then she took these and opened them up so that way your shoulders can sit nicely in them. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, why did I never think of this? You get the the neck warmth and like a cozy blanket? Um, mine doesn't look as chic as hers, but she also added a little, a little jewel unnecessarily to kind of extra fake that it's a poncho, but I feel like if I just tuck it, do I look like I'm going to London on a rainy day? I think I look kind of hunchbacky. I don't know why. Oh, wait, now it just looks like I'm wearing a scarf over my arms. I don't like this anymore. She had me in the first half, not gonna lie. I don't know, I'm a little torn on this one. It kind of just looks like I'm wearing a scarf as a poncho, which I absolutely am. I give this five out of 10 because I like the concept. However, this is just clearly a scarf. If it were a different material like the one she had, I could see it working. But I can't see myself doing this like when I want to be cozy. But in the sense of fashion, I don't know if I look all that fashionable. So five out of 10. So the scarf hacks were just okay. So now I've changed into like a long sleeve button down and I found a couple hacks to, to make these a little bit more spicy, a little bit more interesting and make your eyes dance visually. So the first one is... OK, 
Okay, so we're just doing a basic knot, but it's not basic because you're using your belt loop. So let's try that one. All right, so I'm gonna take this button down and button her down. But not all the way, ladies and gentlemen. Just to write about, I guess, here. Normally with this shirt, because it is like a pretty baggy shirt, I do tie it. But instead we're doing some cutesy thing to the side where we're... Wait, what? All right, she's actually going pretty fast on this, but I go over the loop, so I'm covering the loop. Then I take the other side and tie a knot. I don't know, that's just a knot. Why is that? Do, do I look elevated? Am I, am I gonna be on vogue with this? I don't know. That's just a knot, what's the point of that? I don't like that one at all. Um, zero out of 10, that's stupid. I could just do it and it's throwing off the shape of the shirt. I could just as easily be like, ha ha. Done, that's the same thing, it's way cuter. That's not a style hack, you're making my life more complicated. Zero out of 10. I don't know why when I do these videos, I'm determined to do them like rapid fire. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm like, let's go, let's do this. Next one. This one is also a knot one, but it says how to tie the perfect knot. It's got 6.5 million views. So this better be life changing. How is that the perfect knot? How is that different than anything else I'm doing? All right, so if this were me, I would just go la di da la -dee da tie a knot, maybe a double knot just to... Okay, so there's the before. Wow, life-changing. All right, so you pull your little fingers here. You pull this through and then just do the same with the other one. What about this is the perfect knot? You're seeing all of the inside seams. Maybe I just don't have the right shirt for it, but that's literally more complicated than just tying a knot. I don't know, does it look better in the side-by-side? -side? Maybe. I'll give this one a three out of 10 because I feel like with the right shirt, it might look better, but right now it's just unnecessary. So, so far I feel like none of the hacks that we've tried are totally life-changing, but this one looks interesting. So it's another like long sleeve button down shirt hack. shirt hack has almost a million views and I feel like it's one that it looks cute on camera but you can't wear it out because you're clearly wearing a backward shirt but that's what we're here for we got to test it so let's try this one so I'm going to flip it around put it on backwards like so but then she flipped it once and then did it so that way it gave this cute little thing oh no my tag would be right there though how do you button it down? Where are the buttons? Oh, this is so hard to do backwards. Dang it. Did I miss a button? I think so. Hi, my name's JC. Pleasure to meet you. Um, no, just everything about this, no. My tag is right where she made me turn it. So I guess I could try tucking it, but then I'd be a danger of like being like, oh, I love this song. And then just like pops out again. And then it's like, hey, um, you look like you're drunk and caught in a windstorm lady. You should go get that fixed. Yeah, again, maybe it's because of like the style of shirt she was wearing was just way fancier and cuter. And this is just more of like a casual button down. But no, nope, I'm not, not feeling this, not at all. She was also wearing a better bra, but I feel like this is, this wouldn't work, it just wouldn't work. Another zero out of 10. <laughs> I feel like weird in this and I can't fix it because it's buttoned down to me and flipped like this. Ah! The next style hack we'll be trying is actually for my jeans. Ugh. 
some straight leg pants here and I don't know if you guys heard the rumors, but I guess skinny jeans are on the way out. I have this one and only pair of straight leg jeans because I think I just needed a pair for like something and I accidentally bought straight leg and I was like, oh, this kind of works. But I still prefer the skinny look. So don't come for me, Gen Z. So I found a couple of hacks of how to make your jeans, like the ankle of them, a little bit more skinny. So let's try this one. So my question with this one is what's the difference between that and just regular rolling them? Why do I need to add compression with a hair tie? That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a side by side of how I would roll and cuff my jeans versus like this dude. See if there's a difference. Hi, here are my feet. Please don't look at them. So this leg is how I would normally cuff them. I would either kind of like do a folding motion here, then one big cuff and then another cuff. So he did the same exact thing I did. So he folded it, but then he's gonna use the rubber band to hold this fold. This rubber band is kind of loose. Let me tighten it for the sake of the argument. Then he cuffs and then he cuffs again. So my question is, can you see a difference? I guess so, because I guess it just looks like you can see my fold is coming up a little bit, but they look exactly the same. I feel like I wouldn't go through that effort of putting a hair tie on my ankle just for this, but it does look a little bit better than the way I was doing it. So five out of 10 for this jean hack. I just changed out of my loopy shirt and I realized what it reminded me of. It reminded me like when you're a teenager and you're like a boy trying to pretend to be a girl. So you like tuck your shirt and make it look all silly like that. That's what it looked like in real life form. So it just did not work for me. So now I'm in a sweater and we are gonna test out two sweater hacks. So this is my baggiest sweater that I have. So I have a hack to make it look more, more, more slim and trim and, and looking good. This video has 4.2 million views and it says little fashion hack for you. We'll see about that. So what's the difference between that and just tucking in your shirt? You're adding like a little, a little rope on your belly. If I eat, that thing's gonna be like popping off or being feeling really compressed. I don't know about this one. So what I would do, this is a pretty baggy sweater. I would just do a cool little French tuck. It's what Tan France would want from me. Or I would just, just tuck it in. I don't get why I have to add a freaking string. Here's what it would look like tucked in. Let me get my chair out of the way. Get out of here. So cute, not super slimming, but it's a big old sweater. I don't, I'm not trying to look like a Victoria's Secret model here. So I don't have a shoelace because I'm not about to go undo an entire shoe for this. So I cut off some twine, tie it here. So she had hers right at her waist. And then waterfall it. Um, oh, it's too much belly showing. Let me fix that. I don't know, now it just kind of shows off my muffin top a little bit. Let me bring it down more. So I put it right at my hips and just kind of did it. Um, this is completely pointless. This is the same as tucking it in. I don't get what, why does this have 4.2 million views? Whose life is this changing? Oh, I'm starting to get mad. I wanted these to be super cool. Let me read the comments on this one. This doesn't work. I am too fat. <laughs> uh, oh, that's kind of funny. Um, actually all of the comments are in another language, so I can't even tell if people are roasting it or not. Maybe this is a big deal in another country or maybe I'm just not doing it right, but I don't see the difference between this and just tucking in your sweater. So this one also gets a zero out of 10. Golly, we are having tough luck today. Next sweater hack. Feeling pretty basic in your long sleeve top? Let me show you how to kick it up a notch. Remove your long sleeve shirt and then put it back on through the neck hole. And now you've got yourself a super chic and fashionable cow neck top. <laughs> so this one, this one's also kind of funny because 
how skinny do you have to be to where your neck hole is the same size as your stomach? Not me, not me. And the comments are also saying like, oh, so you think I'm skinny. So I also am wearing this sweater for this hack because this has a giant hole and none of my sweaters, the hole, the neck hole isn't the same as my belly. That's just not gonna work. But the funny thing about this hack specifically is that it already is a cowl neck. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a little switcheroo, but let me try it out. I have my crop top on underneath. Turn it upside down. Oh, it's still too tight. How do they do that? Oh, oh that was close. Oh, this is close. <laughs> Don't look. Um, you guys, I kind of actually like this. It was a little bit of a struggle and I'm kind of concerned that I'm now stretching it out even further, but because it was already a slouchy kind of sweater, I don't really mind. This is kind of a vibe. I like that I already had a turtleneck because it feels tighter around my waist so it gives more shape than just like a potato sack. And it's kind of just like that cool slouchy, almost like an 80s flash dance vibe. Like You're welcome. You're welcome. I kind of like it. The only thing I don't like is that because of the turtleneck part, like this is supposed to be folded down, you can see the seams. Uh, that's not a super big deal, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of cute and cozy if you're trying to be like adorable inside, but this is not going to keep you warm. Um, not at all, but it is kind of fun to just change it up. So I would give this one an eight out of 10. I definitely think it's our most successful one. Um, but it's still not super practical. I can still feel like I'll probably be doing that all day, but it is kind of fun. And like she said, like, do you feel basic in your tea? I don't feel basic anymore. I feel retro. I'm out of breath from that dance though. Whew. All right, last few items here. I am now in an oversized t-shirt. It is a green t-shirt with lots of stains on it and it's always wrinkled and it's the same shirt my mom has begged me to stop wearing on camera. And so I told her, well, now I'm gonna wear it even more. So that's what we're gonna style today. So the next one is an oversized t-shirt hack. Let's see. got bright oh look at that that nice mysterious shape she pear is she a pumpkin is she a full-on rectangle you'll never know until we do this so so she kind of like folded met in the middle kind of brought it down rolled it like this and then came from the bottom and tied it so again, whenever I have to add in another step of like tying something like with a hair tie, I'm probably not gonna do it. What the fuck? Okay. Um, it is kind of a cuter way of doing a knot. Um, I don't like how much belly is showing, but not, that's not bad. I could see this working with a better shirt and not my disgusting craft shirt. Uh, but actually I kind of do like the knot and I like that you don't see the ties It is just another way to make a cute little knot. So I give this one an 8 out of 10 I think it could work with the right jeans and the right shirt I still do have like a lot of extra fabric so I could have tied it a little tighter But I do just like the shape that it creates here. So this one was okay All right. While I'm still in my oversized tee Jeez the lighting in winter in LA is nuts. So it's all over the place. Forgive me we are going to do some sleeve hacks. So this video has 13.4 million views. That's a lot of views, you guys. I mean, I normally get like 10 million views on everything. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that's a lot of views, so this one better be cool. Okay, so something about this feels very 80s to me, kind of creating like a triangle shoulder. Let's try it out, see if we can, oh man, ow. See if we can elevate our sleeves. I'm just going back here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the strap of my crop top 
down, Ugh. tuck the end of the sleeve, and then I'm going to These sleeves might be too baggy because it's not pointing out like hers. So here's what it would look like. Um, I kind of feel like the older brother in an 80s movie where he's like going to work out and he poorly cut a shirt to make it sleeveless so he could show off his biceps. That's what I feel like. I feel like Brand in the Goonies right now. So I don't like this. I also still have it tied like this. So it just feels like I tried everything I could with a bad oversized t-shirt to make it look fashionable and it's not working. There's too much going on. Huh. So I just went and looked in the mirror and it's actually not as bad as I thought. I think it's just like a poor shirt choice. That's on me. I do actually kind of like the triangle shape it gives me. I don't know. I was looking in the mirror and I was like, wait, why is it making my waist look kind of small? It kind of does create like a little bit of a flattering shape, but I feel like because I chose such a casual tee as opposed to like a graphic tee, I just feel like I'm going to Gold's Gym or something. So I'm a little torn on this one. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. I feel like you actually could make this look good and fashionable. I just don't have that eye to figure out what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so not bad, but not great. All right, our last hack looked the funniest to me and I was like, we gotta try this because there's no way people think this actually looks good. So she basically takes a pair of pajama shorts and let, let's just watch it together. Let's watch it together. Don't look at my password. Don't look at my password. So easy hack to turn shorts into a crop top. 2.2 million views. She's wearing pajama shorts as a top. So we're gonna try it. <laughs> so I brought out two pairs because some of these girls have like, I don't know if I have broad shoulders or just big boobs, but I don't know how they're fitting their bodies into these little holes. So I brought two options, let's try it. All right, so she took, she just put her, wait, upside down. And then she tied the tie in a bow to make it cuter. Okay, so definite no to this because I look like Bam Bam from the Flintstones. This might actually be cuter if it wasn't white on the inside because you can tell I'm wearing shorts as a shirt. Uh, but because it had the ruffle details on where like it would be on my legs, it does create like something actually kind of cute here. But mm, no, it's just because it's cheetah print. If it weren't cheetah print and if it had like the pattern on the inside, this might actually work. Let's try the other pair that are clearly pajama shorts. You know what, you guys? I wanted to like end on this one so we can laugh at how ridiculous it is, but it doesn't look as obvious as I thought it would. I feel like with the right pair of shorts, you could actually kind of pull this off. So with this pair, it was way too baggy over here because I don't have like a head and an arm going through it. But if I just kind of like tuck it and fake it, it doesn't look that bad. I would never go out in this. It is way too much belly for me. It is just way out of my comfort zone, this like style of shirt. But I feel like if you're the kind of person to take fashion risks and you could accessorize this to really pull it all together, this might actually work. I can't believe I'm saying that, but wearing your pajama shorts as a shirt might actually work. Oh, maybe not, because now that I'm wearing this, I feel like I'm on like farmers only, but like a sexy farmers only website. I've had a lot of weird comparisons this video, so sorry about that. But this was fun, testing out all of these viral TikTok hacks. Absolutely none of them changed my life, and I will not be actually wearing any of these out and about because I don't know how to accessorize or do anything to pull it all together, but maybe you have a lot more fashion sense than I have and you could make these work. So let me know in the comments which one you liked best or you would try, or let me know if there was just something I did wrong, like if I should have picked a different type of shirt or a different type of pajama shorts. I don't know, this was just for fun, but let me know what you guys thought. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure to like and subscribe so you can come hang out and have some more laughs with us and hear what other kind of weird comparisons I can make about myself. 80s older brother, Bam Bam from the Flintstones, you know, you get it all with me. But I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodles!
She's saying I like take little like meep, 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 meep. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. Cause if you feed me, Seymour. I don't know why I thought my fingers looked like a human eating plant. That's on me.